I'm going to show you how to verify your Brave Rewards wallet. This is kind of a how to verify and how to re-verify your Brave wallet. You might want to check out my video on my YouTube channel where I discussed how to re-verify Brave Rewards and how quickly, quickly, quickly. In the future, they're going to allow you to remove devices for now if you reach your four devices quota then you have to contact them but you want but if you're gonna re-verify you might want to watch that video because I have full instructions as you can see on screen I have 39.25 basic access tokens that Brave Rewards owe me however a web browser update Brave Pup web browser fucked up my wallet and it disconnected the verification. With Brave, if you if your wallet is not verified, you cannot access the basics access tokens. The wallet is still legitimate, you know what I'm saying? It still exists, however, you can't even back up. So then what you're gonna do is click on the triangle at the top, Brave Rewards, and then it has a feature, a button, verify wallet. So I contacted Brave Publishers support and within about, what was it, two weeks, they responded and they claimed that they removed a device of mine. And they also told me that in the future they're working on allowing individuals to remove devices because there's a four device quota. And once you read that quota you cannot verify your wallet because you've used up all your devices so I'm gonna click on verify wallet and it should open up brave rewards and then it's going to say that it's optional well that's not necessarily true however your current wallet is limited verifying with a custodial wallet partner allows you to freely withdraw and deposit funds receive your rewards directly in your wallet and then custodial wallet providers are required to verify the identity of anyone creating a wallet including using a photo identification so for now I think Brave Publishers for their Brave Rewards program which allows you to earn free cryptocurrency well it's basic well it's not cryptocurrency per se it's the basic access tokens you can earn them for free and I showed you how many that I've earned all right for now, Uphold and Gemini are the only two custodial wallet providers that Brave Publishers use. That could change in the future. I initially opened up an Uphold account. I had my wallet verified, and then I don't want to digress about all that. You know what I'm saying? It, I would say at least two Brave web browser updates disconnected my Brave wallet from being verified. So that's two strikes. Okay. Well, it's optional however you cannot get access to your tokens so why what's the point of having a wallet that you can't access the tokens you know what I'm saying now I'm going to click on continue now as you can see on screen choose a wallet service select a custodial wallet partner if you already have an account you will be asked to log in to connect and then there's a note down here your transactions will be visible to the selected wallet service once you authorize all right now I have Uphold, if you have a Gemini account, you could use Gemini. I recommend that you log in beforehand, however, Brave Wall, excuse me, Brave Web Browser, it depends on your cookies. But you may wanna just log in to your custodial wallet partner, whether it's Uphold or Gemini first. But you certainly don't have to. You're gonna get prompted. Now this is where I'm gonna transition because again, you may wanna study computer security. You oops you do not necessarily want to screen capture just any kind of information now I'm c clicking on uphold is what I'm gonna do now that button and then it's taken me to my login screen wallet.uphold.com slash authorize and then I see the uphold I can show you this let me see yeah let's go over this this could be very important so I'll show you this now so when I clicked on that uphold button 
Authorize application. In order to facilitate the services provided by Brave Browser, you're authorizing Uphold to transfer your personal data and then the following, allowing the application to fund account, also your account, and then transactions. Add funds, view transactions, transfer funds, transfer fu funds, and then user information. And then what else? Your personal data will be protected and processed. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. With Brave Browser's privacy policy, you'll need to reauthorize the application every 90 days or when your transaction volume reaches 250 bit. <laughs> I wish I had two. <laughs> I'm speechless. I wish I had 250 basic access tokens. They're worth over a dollar now. What is it? A dollar four? Is that the last price? I think. Yeah, I think so. Some, somewhere around there. The highest I've ever seen is $1.60. When I first started with Brave, publishers receiving free basic access tokens, it was about 3 or $0.04 cents per token. Now they're worth over their dollar. So 250 would be over $250. And also, you can trade, but I don't want to digress about that. All right. So I'm going to click on Authorize, but I'm going to transition again, just in case. And then I'm clicking on Authorize. You might want to read, if you're new to this, you may want to read over all of this. I just wanted to quickly go over it, but I did read over the main points. Funding methods, accounts, transactions, and then user. And then the bottom, you know, disclaimer or whatnot. Okay, so I'm clicking on Authorize. Now it is showing me that I could connect with a global identification, which I do not have. It also allows me to log into my Uphold account that I already have with my email address and password and I don't want you to know what that is and then on clicking on next there's a button below here that can I show you this if I take this out is it going to show it again no, I think I can safely show you this screen I just quickly want to show you that there's a, a what I'm talking about quickly quickly so there is a next button and there's connect with global ID all right now I'm going to transition and I'm going to actually enter in my information and then I'm click on next I'm clicking on next hopefully it will verify okay it's taking me to another screen your request is still being processed uh oh well they lied to me something didn't didn't work out look at this see I'm really getting pissed off with brave publishers it says error device limit reached your wallet cannot be verified because you've reached the maximum verified device limit well I contacted brave publishers and I submitted a ticket and you might want to watch that video re-verify what is it how to re-verify brave rewards I think there's a certain contact form that you have to submit and you have to give them your uphold identification or your there's a identification for your wallet well they they emailed me back they responded and say oh well we removed one of your devices you should be able to now re-verify your wallet well bullshit I just about had a fuck enough with this horse shit from fucking brave publishers I know for a fucking fact that two of their web browser updates disconnected my verified wallet I know for a fact because as soon as I installed one of the brave updates my wallet was no longer verified I'm gonna still upload this video to YouTube because I hate wasting time time is I'm not a capitalist I hate money however I don't waste time hopefully this video will still be productive just follow my instructions log into your Gemini or uphold account and then hopefully it will verify your wallet if it does not verify your wallet or you are trying to re-verify your wallet you might want to watch my video how to verify excuse me how to re-verify your brave rewards and then hopefully I don't know when they're gonna get around to it they don't have a time Frame. they don't have a timetable I have fucking no idea when they're gonna finally allow us to remove devices they may never get around to it but they there is a ticket open I think there is a developer or two working on it until then I'm fucked 
and then I'm going to click close. Now, let me click on more, learn more. How many Brave Rewards wallets can be linked to? When I write my blog post in a century from now, I'm going to include this link and then you can find out all the details on how the wallets work. How many Brave Rewards wallets can be linked to my crypto custodian account? For now, it's only four. Right? See, I'm very accurate right here. At this time, the maximum number of Brave Rewards wallet instances you may verify or link to an Uphill account or other custodian account is four. This is a lifetime. This is a lifetime. This is a lifetime cap, which means that each connection counts towards your maximum, even if a Brave installation has been disconnected. Yeah, I don't want to go over all that. That's including my how to re-verify Brave Rewards. So you only have four chances. After that, you're fucked. Well, they either lied to me or, some, or something's not right. They emailed me and told me to try it. Go ahead and try it. You should be able to re-verify it. Well, wrong. I wasn't able to. You know what I'm saying? And then if what happens is I'm going to click close. But look at how much they owe me. They owe me almost 40 basic access tokens, which is worth $52.10 United States dollars as of the time of this video creation. I want my fucking free utility tokens because I've been allowing advertisements to display in Brave web browser for a long time now. And I'm not receiving any crypto. And I'm getting fucking pissed off. And I, I think probably I'm at that screen right here. Look. There's nothing here that I don't not want you to see. You can I'm not worried. This month I've earned what six and a half basic access tokens. This right here next to ads, that's how you shut it off. I'm gonna probably turn it off now because this is fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time more time to waste with this horse shit. It's only fifty two dollars, but I've well, I don't want to go over my story on how I had a $1,200 balance from these free basic access tokens because I traded for other cryptocurrency. So what normally what would happen is you click on this triangle and then, then you just go through the same loop and then, then, and then, then uphold and then, you know what I'm saying? And then this is the stupidity that occurs. Then I want to show you one more thing. I'm not going to actually try to verify it. I'm going to click. Oh, it disappeared. Your request is still being processed. Please wait. Error. Device limit reach. Same fucking error. Now, sometimes you'll see it up here in the triangle. Yeah. Let me show you one more thing. After you try to re-verify like I did, you'll notice that the triangle up here, there'll be an explanation point. And then there'll be a little message saying you reach your device limit. So it's just a disgusting just loop. You know what? I'm going to demonstrate. This is how you disable Brave Rewards ads. Right here. Bam. Look. I just clicked it. Now it's off. Bam. I'm done. Adios.